forward to watching. A lot of people are saying, you know, it's very odd that this is only round two and this is happening, but it's quite a stacked tournament. Oh, it's just round three, my apologies. Round three of the tournament. Yeah, very stacked tournament, so no surprise this would happen uh, semi-early. Yeah, I mean, you're not going to get too many rounds deep. It is round three. It's, it's you're going battery? I would say we have about... How low? Uh, a One standard 16-man bracket. He's fine, he's fine. All right, one of you guys are ready. It's funny that it's an exact 16-man bracket because of the type of competition that's here. It's beyond. It's like it's almost like it's a 60-man tournament, and this is the top part of the bracket. All right, and it looks like Sheik versus Rosalina. This now this is a matchup that I've been wanting to see for a long time because people are speculating that these two characters are the top two characters in the game. Right now, I'm hearing a lot of Rosalina number one, Sheik number two. And so I want to see how they stack up against each other because this could be, uh, you know, the future of the early metagame. Oh, Rosalina versus Sheik? Yeah, exactly. I believe so. It's definitely possible, especially with the top Sheiks that we have all around the country and these two Rosalina, Zoltis, and I believe um, the Buzz. All around the world, really. I mean, Mr. R is being called out for his... Excellent Sheik. The Europeans all have very powerful Sheiks, so, um, and also you see a lot of Sheik gameplay in Japan as well. Oh yes, definitely. But yeah. of, of course, Rosalina also getting played over in Japan. Oh my God! Accidental SD there from False. That'll be costly. He had a lot of pressure going on for him at the edge there. Yeah, that's something that does happen to him sometimes when you play Sheik. However, he is able to bring it back. You know, a couple moves and maybe a possible bouncing fish could do this. Oh, yep. jab attack. And this is a, one of those classic, you know, approach versus camp matchups. Rosalina plays a very outside, keep away type of game. She has a lot of defensive options and good follow ups off of those defensive options, while Sheik just wants to go in, 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 in. And with Luma there, it makes it really risky to hit Rosalina in certain ways. I mean, you can't get a grab while Luma's there um, to punish you for trying to hold down Rosalina. Certain aerials won't be safe. And at the same time, Rosalina's going to struggle to find openings onto Sheik because Ooh. of Sheik's you know, fast speed and versatility. Right and there, you see that False manages to bring it back, despite the fact that he SD while his opponent was only at 42%. He's managed to only take 52% before bringing in the next stock. So now we see here the buzz uh -oh. going in. The up throw to pressure. up air is uh, one of the combos that you can do. Also, a up throw to or down throw to up tilt. And it looks like he was able to get that even at a decently high percent. Very nice. Yeah, it's amazing how little cooldown there is on those Rosalina moves. That down smash looked almost unpunishable. Very nice. The buzz seems to be really good at boxing in. And Rosalina is a character you wouldn't expect that so much from, but he's doing fantastic at it. Very nice pivot grab there by Sheik. Ball's oh. managing to get in. Another fair string. Goes for the bouncing fish. Doesn't quite connect. Back throw. Back throw. It's not going to kill, but it will kill pretty soon, especially around 130%. Now, how is he going to be able to approach? It looks like he's waiting for Luma to come back, and there she is. Or he. <laughs> oh, very, very nice neutral air there. Charge Luma. Flip right onto Sheik. Oh, wow, very nice. He brought back Luma, then jumped and tried to make Luma hit him in the air, and there goes Luma. And that's what I was mentioning oh. before. Very, very risky to try and go and grab Rosalina, because Luma will be right there to punish. Very reminiscent of Nana back in uh, previous iterations of the game. Mm-hmm. And it's just crazy how strong Luma is. I mean, he got the grab. As you can imagine, he didn't vector perfectly. He yeah. was going for the back throw. Mm -hmm. But the fact that Luma was able to KO him, just wow. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. And Oh, yes, I forgot. You can't ban. Yeah. <laughs> the Buzz tried to ban Battlefield. However, there are no bans since there's only four stages. And what, what stage are we going? Battlefield? Okay, and as you guys may have seen, False did unfortunately SD. So we're going to see what happens now. If maybe he doesn't SD, maybe it'll be better. Maybe this time the buzz will SD. We'll find out. <laughs> you never know. Yeah, that was an incredibly close game considering False killed himself very early. So it looks like Sheik might be, you know, a viable combatant for Rosalind. Oh, yes, certainly. I do this matchup with him all the time. I do decently well. However, I know that Sheik can go in and just destruction. And here comes match number two. Oh, sorry, All right, let's Jigglypuff. get Jigglypuff out of the way here. <laughs> All right, and we are about to start match number two of Leap of I did Face. not know Rosalina had a crawl. Oh, yeah, she does. It's weird. All right, and already starts off messing him up with a jab attack. Nice up air. Yeah, we've got a, a little bit of a juggle here. Not sure why he didn't just go for the second up air, but either way, she is able to find her way back down onto the ground. Cross a back air. Interesting option. Doesn't necessarily get him in. Oh, nice Great prediction of the in. roll right there. And the up smash, too. 55%. Not that much damage compared to what he's doing. 
However, it looks like False has only done 16% on him. And there's a back throw already. Well, 75%. Oh, and there goes Luma. You have to hit. But oh my gosh, that dare kills him at such an early percent. Yeah, I mean, it's been renowned for how incredibly powerful it is. I mean, such a strong option. Good at edge guarding. Can be used on the stage. Overall, extremely versatile move. Very disjointed. Great read there by False to um, predict that roll. Go for that up smash. Take it. And you see the platforms here. Definitely interrupting bouncing fishes combos. Yeah, they work pretty well for yeah. Rosalina. You can just up smash right through them. Pretty much, at, like you can cover a lot of space, especially if you Luma. I like the way that Rosalina's follow-ups work. I mean, the character just seems to flow. Her movement looks really funny, but it's also really interesting. You don't really see Smash characters move the way Rosalina moves. Like a floaty character, have the type of hitbox that she is. Very unique character. I like the design. Yeah, it's floaty. She's floaty, but she can be very aggressive. And that's a crazy thing. And he's gonna come back because it's a custom a B. However, he's already at 91%. Oh, and that's an up smash. Not going to kill, but very close. Has to watch out where he lands now. Double jab to Tomahawk grab. Oh, my. That star bit. Ooh, the amount of hit. utility that Rosalina has with Luma. Just able to always find such interesting options. You know, you're recovering, but Luma's still sitting there on the stage. Oh, my gosh. Let's Luma's go. here. Oh, oh double jab to up smash from Luma. Combos them across the stage. <laughs> okay. Oh, I did it. Okay. All right. Luma has combo. <laughs> Dude. Very shocking right there. And it looks like the buzz takes a set uh, 2 0. So I think the buzz is in winner's finals now. I believe so. Okay. Good oh. game. Good games. All right. So now it's going to be Nakat versus um, Nairo, actually. Wow. Yeah, it was pretty good. Was Luma pretty good. shot into jab, jab, up smash. It was like, <laughs> yeah. You can't hold it. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh huh. Oh, yeah, we're about to play. I'm just going to set it up for them. All right. Um, Let's see. Let's see who's the first one to join. And the cat joins the butt. Uh, the okay. <laughs> All right, cool. So I'm going to put in the cat real quick. Is it all caps with the cat? setting up the scores and then after I do that I have to refresh both the score and the match just a heads up just in case you uh, decide to do it and now if we go over here and look at it is that your water oh it's all right 